What is up, Thunder fans? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little bit, it's been about two weeks. I've uh, been a little bit busy. Um, things in life just get away with you. Uh, me, uh, me and my amazing girlfriend, she, we're pregnant and we're due to be having a baby soon. So I will be busy in the next couple of months, but I will promise you this, I'm not gonna miss draft day. And I'm not gonna miss making a video on draft day, my reactions to our picks, cause that's just what I do. I really want to, um, really want to get this out for you guys. But I will be busy. I will be possibly away for a little bit. But I'm not missing that. All right, guys. But let's get right into it. Let's talk about the thumbnail. Venchero. He just he doesn't like us. He probably doesn't hate us as much, but he does not like us. He was a Sonics fan growing up. He was about six years old when we moved from Seattle to Oklahoma, and he just flat out does not like us. Now, if you ask me. That is itself is a big red flag for us. Um, I don't hate him, and I'm sure a lot of you don't hate him, but uh, a lot of you might actually do, yeah, probably, probably do hate him, but he's a player we're not gonna draft, mainly because of that one reason, because if we draft him, he doesn't wanna play with us, he doesn't wanna stay with us, he wants to go. And what is the point of drafting someone if they're just gonna leave within the next couple of years? So let's just go as far as saying we're not drafting him, which gives us one of two options, Jabari Smith and Chet. Now Jabari is highly projected to go to number one and Chet's also there's a few people that say he could go number one so there's a chance we could get either one of them but big chance we're going Chet and look I'm not mad don't hate it but look I'll be happy with it be happy because he is potentially going to be a superstar in the league and yeah he's got a high ceiling a very high ceiling now let's also talk about a few other things um, we recently acquired Jermichael Green now whether he's going to stay on our team or not is um, it's a big if because we know how they work down at Oklahoma. We could be training him for the next, I don't know, 2027 draft pick or something. But let's talk about that. So we got Jamichael Green, uh, a protected 2027 first round pick, and we sent them the 30th pick, which is not a shock to me at all because we've got that many first round picks, it really doesn't matter. And a future couple of seconds, so that really doesn't matter. And we still have the second pick, the 12th pick, and the 34th pick, which is, is it's amazing to me. I love, I absolutely love going through the draft and rebuilding, and um, I'm loving this whole rebuild that we're going through because I'm excited to see what we can uh, we can produce in the future. And if, like I said, Jamichael Green is a great role player. He's a great player to come off our bench and, and probably play some solid minutes and do some solid work for us. But like I said, he could be gone within you know you never know a couple of weeks. So yeah, what do you reckon about that? Leave a comment in that. Uh, but let's also get towards. Who do you think we're going to be drafting with those sort of picks? Second is probably going to be Chet. Twelfth, uh, I've made a video about it. You can check it in one of these links here. And let's go with the deep 34th pick. Now, there's not much to talk about it. He's, uh, it's probably going to be a very, a very, very late pick and probably even going to get traded. So let's just dive into the mock draft and see what happens. Okay, so around this mark, uh, with the 31st pick, Indiana's going to be selecting EJ Liddell. He's, uh, I've heard a bit about him, but Orlando's picking Marjon Beauchamp at 32, which I've heard a lot about him out of the G League. He could be someone we could pick up if he's available. I would like to see him on our team. But we are projected to get, with the 34th pick, Caleb Houston. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't heard much about him. Uh, but look, he's a 6'8 shooting guard small forward. Let's have a look at him. Let's see what he's about. So he's a 3 and D player. He's got a lot of skill set uh, tailor-made for the modern NBA. Uh, his NBA comparison is RJ Hunter, which is not a bad little comparison there. Uh, but he also lacks great fluidity and explosiveness as an athletic player. So that should be interesting to say. He averaged 10 points out of Michigan, an assist and a half and four rebounds. Nothing special, but could be something to work on. Could be something great for us. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and who we should be drafting through all the way through. The draft is coming up um, and it's gonna be coming very soon. I will not gut, I'll let you guys down. I'm gonna be making videos up to it, uh, but it's gonna be such an amazing time for me. I'm gonna be so excited with the birth of my new daughter. Um, I'm gonna be busy making videos for you guys. So I'm gonna try to get it out to you as soon as possible. And I hope you guys do enjoy these videos. If you do, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to, you don't have to. Uh, I'm getting close to that 500 mark and I honestly didn't expect to reach 500. You guys are amazing. I bloody love you guys. 
Anyway, that's gonna be really it for me. It's gonna be a quick one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, not a fan of Ben Chira at the moment. Hope we don't pick him up, but he's gonna be a great player, high ceiling. Most likely I'm gonna get Chet, which is all good. And 34th pick, I want to get Marshall and Bochamp. Really quick, short, sharp. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, do what you do. All right guys, see you guys in the next one. Peace.